What's up, Faceless family? Welcome to Debt Busters. If you've ever considered starting a faceless YouTube channel but felt lost, this video is for you. Understand that success demands effort. Your YouTube gains mirror your investment. I'll share how to profit on YouTube without showing your face or making videos. I've grown my income to over $10,000 monthly and guided many to create thriving YouTube automation channels. I'm offering this step-by-step -step tutorial with my distilled knowledge so you become successful years faster than I did. Click the link in the description if you find this information useful and would like to work with me more directly. Grab your notepads because we're about to dive into the ins and outs of this YouTube automation class. To kick things off, I'll walk you through what you can expect to take away from today's lesson. First on our agenda, we'll address those burning questions many of you might have about YouTube automation. Trust me, getting a grip on the lingo is half the battle, so we'll cover some essential terms and jargon that's commonly used in this niche. Now, who doesn't love some freebies? I've got a list of handy tools to boost your video views. I've often wondered, why aren't more people leveraging YouTube automation? Be it a brick and mortar setup like a cafe or an online luxury watch store, if they're not tapping into this, they're leaving money and potential untouched. And I'll lay out my reasons why every entrepreneur, big or small, should consider a slice of this YouTube pie. We'll demystify how this whole YouTube automation business model clicks. Stick around as we unpack its working step by step. I'll be sharing not one, not two, but 10 distinct avenues for making some green with faceless YouTube automation. Multiple revenue streams, folks. But wait, before diving in, it's critical to get a grip on the YouTube algorithm. Because trust me, without understanding its mechanics, it's not you playing the game. The game's playing you. Ever found yourself scratching your head, pondering if cute kitties is a better niche than cryptocurrency or YouTube tips? Don't worry. I'll be highlighting the top niches for you to consider, making your decision a breeze. Let's talk research. We'll delve into the nitty gritty of keyword exploration to ensure optimal results, from channel setup, video creation, to even outsourcing and devising a team to handle things for you. I've got it covered. Thumbnails, check. Maximizing views, double check. Profit strategies, including advanced automation, you bet. As we wrap up, I'll summarize the gold mine of insights shared today. Now that you've got a roadmap, let's tackle some common questions about YouTube automation to set the stage. So let's kick things off with those FAQs. All right, folks, let's tackle a question I get quite often. Is it possible to monetize a YouTube channel without ever showing my face? Absolutely, yes, you bet it's possible. In fact, there are tons of channels out there raking in the dough without the creator ever stepping in front of the camera. Think about channels that offer gadget demonstrations, tutorials using screen recordings, or even those fun animation-based storytelling videos. They're proof that you don't need to be the face of your channel to make it big. It all boils down to delivering quality content that resonates with your audience. Remember, content is king, whether or not there's a face attached to it. So if you've got valuable or entertaining content to share, there's no reason you can't monetize it while staying behind the scenes. Question two. Can you monetize channels that use artificial intelligence on YouTube? A lot of you ask me this, and my answer will always be the same. Yes, you can monetize AI videos through the YouTube Partner Program on YouTube. Yes, that includes scripts written by ChatGPT. Yes, that includes videos made with Pictory. Yes, that includes text-to-speech or AI voiceover. Yes, I have done this for many years, including on this very channel. Yes, the big YouTuber who told you that you couldn't do it was misinformed and is likely just a paid actor anyway. You can learn more about monetizing AI voices and such by clicking the card on your screen. All right, family, let's discuss a question I hear all the time. Can I do YouTube automation from anywhere in the world? The answer, you bet your boots you can. The beauty of YouTube automation is its universal nature. Whether you're sipping tea in India, sunbathing on a beach in the Philippines, or just chilling in your hometown in Nigeria, as long as you've got a decent internet connection, you're golden. It's a digital nomad's dream come true. The world becomes your office and your creativity isn't bound by borders. Just remember to keep an eye on time zones if you're scheduling uploads or engaging with your audience in real time. All right, gang, time to tackle some jargon that you've probably come across in the online advertising world. Cost per meal and revenue per meal. But hey, don't let the fancy names intimidate you. Let's break it down, casual class style. First up, cost per meal, CPM. Now, meal here is just a fancy way of saying thousand. It's like giving an old word a fresh coat of paint. CPM tells advertisers how much they're gonna pay for every 1,000 views or impressions of their ad. So if a CPM is $5, 
You're shelling out five bucks for every thousand times your ad gets eyeballed. Handy for setting budgets, right? Now, on the flip side, we've got revenue per meal, RPM. If you're a content creator or run a website with ads, RPM is your buddy. It tells you how much moolah you'll rake in for every 1,000 views or impressions of an ad on your platform. If your RPM is $10, you're pocketing 10 bucks for every 1,000 times that ad gets seen by your audience. In essence, while CPM is the price tag for advertisers, RPM shows the earnings for publishers. Remember folks, knowing your numbers makes the digital world a whole lot friendlier. Quick heads up for all of you diving deep into the world of YouTube. When you're looking at a video's RPM for a specific niche, there's a little curveball to keep in mind. You see, you can't truly predict a video's RPM in advance. And here's the kicker. Viewer location plays a huge role. Depending on where your audience is tuning in from, the RPM can vary. If your viewers are scattered from the bustling streets of Tokyo to the serene landscapes of New Zealand, each region has its own RPM dynamics. So, before you set your expectations, remember the world is a big place and where your viewers are watching from can throw a fun little twist into the RPM game. Next up, watch time. Think of it as the MVP of YouTube metrics. In simple terms, it's how long people stick around to watch your content. Let's say you've got a 10 minute video and 10 people watch for six minutes each. Boom, that's 60 watch time minutes. YouTube then crunches some numbers, takes the average watch time from all your viewers and shows you the magic number in YouTube studio. Here's the juicy bit. The longer folks stick around watching, the more YouTube's going to love your content and show it off. Why you ask? Because YouTube, like every other social media out there, is in a fierce battle for attention. If you're the champ at keeping viewers glued longer, YouTube's going to have your back and push your content. But if your watch time's a bit on the lower side, YouTube might give your videos the cold shoulder all to keep folks from hopping over to competitors like TikTok. Next, let's chat about CTR, or click-through rate. Picture this, someone sees your video's thumbnail, gets curious, and clicks on it. That action, it contributes to your CTR. It's an early indicator of how appealing your content is based on that first impression. You'll wanna keep an eye on this number, especially in the first hour after posting a video. Don't stress, I'll walk you through what a solid CTR looks like, what's considered average, and how it varies by niche. All right, fellow YouTube enthusiasts, pull up a chair and grab a notepad because I've got a couple of game changers for you. And guess what? They won't cost you a dime. Links for everything will be in the description. First on our list is TubeBuddy. Think of it as a sidekick for your YouTube channel. Want to grow faster? TubeBuddy's got you covered with keyword research, nifty publishing shortcuts, and helping your videos climb the search ranks. Their tools will give you a deep dive into your analytics so you'll know what's hitting the mark and where you might need a little tweak. Swing by TubeBuddy.com, comma, hit the Install Free Now button, and you're off to the races. Now, if you're someone who likes options like me, here's another gem, VidIQ. It's the tool I personally swear by, and while it shares many features with TubeBuddy, it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. Big influencers are already using it, and here's the cherry on top, their daily ideas generator. Every day, like clockwork, VidIQ will churn out fresh video titles and ideas for you. It's like having a brainstorming buddy 24-7. And they've got this new AI tool that does even more heavy lifting. You can snag VidIQ as a Chrome extension. Just click my link in the description and sign up for free. So, whether you pick TubeBuddy, VidIQ, or both, why not? You've got some fantastic tools to give your channel that extra oomph. Here's another gem for you. Let me spill the beans on a secret weapon, ChatGPT. Imagine having a brainstorm buddy on standby 24-7. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence or AI from OpenAI, and it's like having a scriptwriter in your pocket. Whether you're stuck on content, need a punchy intro, or want to refine your dialogue, this AI buddy is there for you. ChatGPT generated everything you've heard in this video and all of my videos throughout 2023. It's surprisingly good at crafting engaging scripts tailored for YouTube. It's a fusion of tech and creativity. If you're aiming to streamline your content creation process or just want a fresh perspective, ChatGPT could be your next best friend. I've got some other tools I'd like to suggest you consider for your YouTube automation journey. Neither of these tools is free, but they both come with free trials if you use my link. They're reasonably priced and will greatly reduce the effort it takes to get monetized. First up is Pictory. Pictory is a text-to-video AI tool that turns your scripts into amazing video using royalty-free stock images, video, and music. I was able to monetize this channel and several others using Pictory. Think of it as a genius assistant that turns your lengthy articles into snappy, attention-grabbing videos. 
Instead of sweating over edits, Pictory's AI does the heavy lifting, converting written pieces into bite-sized video content perfect for the social media scene. It's all cloud-based, so no fuss with downloads or installations. Plus, they've got a free trial, so you can give it a whirl without opening your wallet. Whether you're crafting content, promoting a brand, or running a business, Pictory could be your secret sauce to elevate those visuals. Let me introduce you to a game changer in voice tech, Eleven Labs. Imagine being able to turn text into super realistic speech. Cool, right? It better be. You've been listening to an Eleven Labs voiceover this entire video. For all you content creators or anyone looking to jazz up their digital vibes, this is your tool. We're in an era where folks' attention is like gold, and Eleven Labs brings that lifelike audio magic that just grabs you. Whether you're a solo creator or a big publishing house, this tool's got your back. And for businesses with global dreams, the multilingual feature, chef's kiss. Step into the future of audio with Eleven Labs. All right, folks, pull up a chair and let's get into this. Before we get into the nitty gritty of setting up that automated channel and rolling out your videos, let's chat about a couple of niches that are just gold mines, especially if you're stepping into the world of YouTube automation for the first time. First up, the tech world, the cool place where innovation meets our digital life. We all know someone, maybe even ourselves, who's always on the hunt for the latest gadget or software update, right? So imagine having a channel that's all about that, showcasing and reviewing the latest tech toys for your viewers. Here's the juicy part. The CPM and RPM in tech, way above average. I know I told you that you can't predict RPM exactly because you don't know who will be watching your channel. But based on my experience, channels in the tech niche can earn an RPM around $20 or so. And hey, there's more than just ad revenue. Think affiliate links, brand partnerships, and the like. If you want to niche down a bit, think about things like gadget reviews, tech news flashes, deep diving into apps, tech tutorials, and side-by-side -side product comparisons. Now let's shift gears. Ever searched how to make money online? You and a gazillion others. This niche, a money magnet. With CPM rates that can hit between $30 to $60, we're talking some serious potential here. If you've got some tricks up your sleeve about making money digitally, this is where you shine. Teach folks with tutorials, guide them through processes, and share some golden insights. Topics like building a personal brand, super hot. And to really stand out, dive deep into areas like affiliate marketing tips, freelancing wisdom, e-commerce insights, passive income streams, or even case studies on successful online businesses. The more specific, the better. Let's go a bit deeper into another fantastic niche software tutorials. If you've got a knack for any software, imagine having a YouTube channel where you screen record your magic and chat over it, guiding viewers through the process. Super cool, right? Here's a tip, break down your tutorials. Think of mini episodes, maybe around eight to 15 minutes each. Keeps it interesting. And if you're going for a longer video, do your viewers a favor and drop some timestamps in the description. Makes navigating a breeze. Gee, I hope I remember to do that in this video. This channel has quite a few software tutorial videos and depending on my audience, my RPM can range from eight to $15. So that's always something worth noting. Need some inspiration? Here you go. How about tutorials on coding? diving into graphic design software, video editing tips and tricks, guides on productivity tools, or even some web development magic. There's a world of sub-niches just waiting for you. Now here's the thing, all these niches, they're like the stepping stones for YouTube automation success. But the real magic, it's in bringing your creativity, expertise, and connection with your viewers. And remember, consistency is key. Keep that content fresh and fun. So. Think about dipping your toes in one of these niches and see where the YouTube wave takes you. Why do YouTube automation? Let's chat about something super important. YouTube automation, why the buzz? Why do I feel like if you're not on this train, you're kind of leaving some serious cash behind at the station? Heck, to be frank, I kind of think it's a bit crazy not to get into YouTube automation in today's world. I mean, come on, the perks of YouTube, huge. We've all seen creators like Mr. Beast make a splash and earn a small fortune, but with automation, here's the twist. You get those juicy benefits without putting your face out there. Stay behind the scenes, stay mysterious. Plus, there's no need for those pricey cameras or lighting setups. That's the charm of YouTube automation. But here's the golden nugget. YouTube, best, traffic, source, ever. Posting is free. And imagine this, you have a luxury watch store and you've got this sleek YouTube channel on all things Lux. A perfect match. Promote your swanky timepieces right there. 
Not only are you raking in views and potential buyers, but this is all on autopilot. Once that video's up, it's up for good. Where else can you drop a vid and have it still bringing in views and revenue years, maybe even decades later? TikTok not, nah, it fizzles out in a few weeks. Instagram reels, gone in a flash. But YouTube, with its mighty search engine powers, keeps on giving. You know as well as I do, everyone's hopping on YouTube, searching, watching, binging. And here's where it gets cool. Imagine not throwing heaps of your hard-earned money on Facebook or Google ads. Instead, with YouTube, the traffic is free. And guess what? You get paid when folks watch your content. Yep, that's right. Picture this. You've got a brand, maybe a product, a service, or even a brick and mortar shop. You pop that info in your videos and bam, you're drawing in viewers. And each view, it's putting some change in your pocket. Instead of digging into your wallet to get noticed, you're getting eyeballs on your brand and getting a little thank you from YouTube in the form of revenue. The equation is simple. Free traffic plus monetized views equals pure magic. I can't stress this enough. Every business, whether you're a cafe owner or have a snazzy barber shop, if you're not on YouTube, you're kind of missing out. We're talking about potential customers, free advertising, and even some cash bonuses from those views. Consider this, over 2 billion people tune into YouTube monthly. That's a colossal audience, my friends. And guess what? It's only getting bigger. So why wouldn't you want a slice of that YouTube pie? Sure thing, folks. Let's break it down in a more relaxed and straightforward way. So, picture this. You're running a faceless YouTube automation channel. That means you don't have to be the one in front of the camera. You're the business owner here, not the on-screen star. But guess what? You still get to enjoy all the perks and make money, just like those creators you see on YouTube. The best part? You don't have to deal with the whole face-revealing thing. So why YouTube automation? How does it work? Well, it's simple. Even though you're not the one recording those videos, you're the mastermind behind the scenes. Now, when it comes to YouTube videos, there are always five essential elements. Whether it's a faceless video or not, we're gonna zoom in on those faceless gems. First up, you've got the research whiz. They're the ones digging up info, finding the right video ideas, and crafting that catchy video title. They're basically setting the stage. Next, we've got the script writer. They take those ideas and whip up a killer script. They might draw inspiration from Google, blogs, videos, or just their own know-how. Now let's talk about element number three, the voiceover or audio. Not all channels have voiceovers. Some roll with copyright-free background beats and they're still raking it in. But for our focus, we'll chat about the voiceovers. It's when someone reads that pre-written script aloud. Element number four is all about video editing. It's where the magic happens. Visuals, graphics, and clips come together and someone works their editing mojo. Now, just before you hit that sweet post button, there's one more thing you gotta nail, the thumbnail. These little images might seem like no big deal, but guess what? They're the secret sauce that can get you more clicks and eyeballs on your video. Yep, that's right, thumbnails are a big deal. And they're the last stop on our content elements train. So what have we learned so far? We've covered the five key content elements that make a killer YouTube video. And guess what? I'm not gonna leave you hanging. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through each of those elements. The best part, you can do it all for free. But if you're looking to step it up and run this YouTube game like a boss, I'll even spill the beans on how to set up your team and supercharge your YouTube automation business. All right, let's talk about the first way to make money on YouTube, which is AdSense. Now, imagine AdSense as your YouTube paycheck. You know those annoying ads you see before, during, or after a video? Well, AdSense is how you get paid for them. Here's how it works. YouTube, which is owned by Google, allows you to enable these ads on your videos. When viewers watch or click on these ads, you start earning some cash. It's like a little bonus for creating cool content. But, and it's a big but, you need to meet certain requirements before you can start. YouTube wants to see that you're serious about your channel, so you'll need to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours first. Once you're in, though, AdSense can be a nice source of income as your channel grows. So, don't skip on enabling those ads. So, let's talk about number two on our list fan funding and YouTube's newer monetization features, Super Thanks and Super Stickers. Now, fan funding is a fantastic way to make money on YouTube when you're running a faceless channel. It's all about your viewers supporting you directly. But YouTube has recently introduced some changes to fan funding requirements, and here they are. 
Now, YouTube has recently made some changes to these requirements, so pay close attention. To join the partner program, you'll need to meet these thresholds. First, you gotta have at least 500 subscribers on your channel. Second, you should be uploading content regularly. We're talking about three valid public uploads within 90 days. Third, you need to rack up 3,000 watch hours in the past year. And here's the twist. If you're into creating shorts, YouTube wants to see 3 million valid public shorts views in 90 days. Then you need to be at least 18 years old because, you know, legal stuff. And you've got to be in the, one of the eligible countries where Super Chat, Super Thanks, and Super Stickers are available. Now, speaking of Super Thanks and Super Stickers, these are cool additions to your revenue streams. Super Thanks is like a virtual tip jar. Viewers can show their appreciation by sending you money for a specific piece of content they loved. Super stickers, on the other hand, are animated stickers that viewers can buy during live chat or premiere chats to get their message noticed. The beauty of these features is that they allow your audience to engage with your content in a more interactive way. They can express themselves, support your channel, and make their messages stand out, which can be a lot of fun during live streams. So remember, to unlock fan funding and these nifty super features, keep creating great content, grow your subscribers, and you'll be on your way to earning more money and connecting with your viewers in exciting new ways. For the third way to monetize, let's chat about affiliate marketing, a slick way to make some bucks on your faceless YouTube channel. This is actually how I earn the majority of my income on the platform. So imagine this, you've got a loyal fan base, right? Well, affiliate marketing lets you recommend products or services to your viewers. And when they buy through your special affiliate link, you earn a commission. Here's the deal. You partner up with companies or brands that have affiliate programs. These programs give you unique tracking links. When your viewers click on these links and make a purchase, you get a slice of the pie. That's your commission. The best part, you don't need to deal with creating or shipping products, customer service, or any of that jazz. You're like the middle person connecting your audience to products or services they might love. Just make sure you only promote stuff that you genuinely believe in. Trust is key, and you can find affiliate programs for almost anything under the sun, from tech gadgets to beauty products. It's a win-win. Your viewers get great recommendations and you pocket some extra cash. Easy peasy, right? Let's get into number four on our list, sponsored content. Now this is where the big bucks can roll in for your faceless YouTube channel. Sponsored content means that companies or brands will pay you to create videos around their products or services. They see your channel, they see your audience, and they want to get in on the action. So they'll reach out or you can reach out to them. And if you strike a deal, they'll send you their stuff or pay you outright. Here's the catch. You need to be transparent with your viewers. You got to let them know when a video is sponsored. It's all about trust, people. Plus, it's a legal requirement in many places. Now, how much you make depends on your channel's size, niche, and the brand you're working with. Some folks make a few hundred bucks, while others can rake in thousands for a single video. It's a cool way to earn some moolah while sharing stuff you're passionate about. Just be sure it aligns with your channel's vibe and values. You don't want to be a sellout. Let's talk about merchandise. It's like having your own online store without the rent and overhead costs. When you've got a solid fan base, consider designing and selling your merchandise. Slap your logo or catchphrase on shirts, mugs, stickers, or whatever you fancy. Sites like Teespring and Printful handle production and shipping, so you just focus on creating cool designs and promoting them in your videos. Your viewers get to wear your brand and you get a slice of the sales. It's a great way to connect with your audience and make some extra bucks while you're at it. Plus, who doesn't want to rock a t-shirt with their favorite YouTuber's face on it? Now, channel memberships, folks, are like offering VIP access to your YouTube party. When your channel's eligible, you can enable memberships for a monthly fee. Let's call it a backstage pass. Your loyal subscribers can then join the party by paying that fee, and in return, they get some exclusive perks. Think custom badges, emojis, or members-only content. It's like creating a club for your most dedicated fans. You'll not only build a tighter-knit community, but also earn some extra income. Plus, it's a win-win. Your fans get that special treatment, and you get the chance to connect with them on a whole new level. Let's talk about crowdfunding, which is like a digital tip jar for your YouTube channel. You see, your viewers, those awesome folks who watch your videos, can become your patrons. It's like having a supportive online community. Platforms like Patreon and Coffee make this super easy. You set up an account, share your creative goals, and offer your audience special perks or exclusive content. Then your viewers can become your patrons by pledging a few bucks each month. It's a win-win. Your fans get exclusive access to behind the scenes content, 
early releases, or personalized shoutouts. In return, you get a steady source of income that's not relying on ads. Now remember, it's all about offering value to your patrons. They're essentially investing in your channel because they love your content. So treat them well and deliver on those perks. Crowdfunding can really help you fund your creative endeavors, upgrade your equipment, or just make your channel even better. Plus, it's a beautiful way to strengthen the bond with your audience. Just be genuine, show appreciation, and give your patrons a reason to keep supporting your YouTube journey. So, let's chat about another fantastic way to make money on YouTube. Online courses and consulting. Now, imagine you're an expert in something valuable like cooking, fitness, or digital marketing. You can use your YouTube channel as a platform to share your knowledge and grow your brand. First, consider creating online courses. You can use platforms like Udemy, Teachable, or even your website to host these courses. Share some free, valuable content on YouTube, and then invite your viewers to dive deeper into your courses for a fee. It's like taking your lessons to the next level. But that's not all. You can offer consulting services, too. If people see you as an authority in your niche, they might want personalized advice. You can charge for one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions or group coaching calls. It's like having your own virtual classroom. Remember, the key here is to provide real value. Your YouTube channel showcases your expertise and acts as a free sample. People will be more willing to pay for your courses or consulting when they've already seen the quality of your free content. So whether you're a fitness guru, a master chef, or a marketing whiz, turn your expertise into online courses and consulting services. It's a fantastic way to monetize your YouTube channel while helping others level up their skills. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. I appreciate it. Finally, the 10th exciting way to make money on YouTube, licensing your content. Imagine you've created some incredible videos that are a hit with your audience. Well, now you can potentially make even more cash by letting others use those videos. Here's how it works. Companies, filmmakers, or even other YouTubers might want to use your footage in their projects. Maybe they love your travel vlogs, cooking demos, or epic drone shots. They reach out to you and ask for permission to use your content. Now you have a choice to make. You can grant them a license, allowing them to use your video in exchange for a fee. This can be a one-time payment or a recurring royalty, depending on your agreement. It's like renting out your content, but here's the beauty of it. Your video can keep earning money while it's being used elsewhere. It's like getting paid twice for the same work, plus it's a win-win situation. They get awesome content and you get some extra dough. To get started, make it clear in your video descriptions or channel info that your content is available for licensing. You can also join platforms like Shutterstock or Getty Images to reach a broader audience. So remember, don't let those great videos just sit there. License your content and let it work for you in more ways than one. Hey there folks, listen up because this is super important. I'm about to drop some truth bombs to save your skin and your wallet, so pay close attention. Here's the deal. There's a mistake that a ton of newbies make, and you definitely want to steer clear of it because it could land you in a heap of trouble and cost you big bucks. Now, I've heard some folks dish out advice on YouTube automation that sounds like this. Just go to YouTube, search for a keyword, use the filters, hit up Creative Commons, and bam, you can re-upload the video. It's like a quick way to make money, right? Well, here's the scoop. That's a massive mistake. It won't work and it'll get you into hot water. You won't get monetized, no partner program, no ads running on your videos, and you can forget about making money through affiliate marketing or any of the other revenue sources we talked about earlier. Bottom line, it's a dumb move. Don't re-upload other people's content because it's a one-way ticket to trouble. You won't make any money, and even if you dodge copyright strikes, you're still not going to cash in. Oh, and here's another one to watch out for, using non-copyright free music. Don't do it. If it's a famous song, it'll get you into a sticky situation. You can't just use anyone's song. It's got to be copyright free. So steer clear of these blunders, Faceless Family. Here's a nifty way to sort out that mess head on over to the YouTube audio library. It's like a treasure trove of copyright free tunes waiting for you. Now I'll be honest, not all of them are chart toppers, but you're sure to find some gems in there that you vibe with. The beauty is, you can use these tracks without a worry in the world, because there won't be any copyright issues haunting you. So remember, two golden rules here. Don't swipe other people's content and steer clear of non-copyright free songs. That's the way to keep your YouTube journey smooth sailing without any legal headaches. Let's talk about the dreaded YouTube algorithm, folks, because understanding it is like having the keys to the kingdom. Without a clue about how it works, you'll be lost in the YouTube wilderness. 
So here's what makes the algorithm smile. One, CTR or click-through rate, this one's a biggie. It's the percentage of folks who actually click on your video after spotting it in their YouTube recommendations. Trust me, it's vital. Your CTR determines the fate of your thumbnail and title. You'll be tweaking and testing them to see what sticks. Aim high, cause the average CTR on YouTube hovers around five to 6%. Shoot for that or even higher. If your CTR dips below 5%, it's time to roll up your sleeves and figure out what's amiss. Two, watch time. This one's the holy grail of YouTube metrics. It's the big kahuna when it comes to YouTube growth and whether the algorithm showers your video with love. See every social media platforms in a battle for users' attention. They want folks glued to the screen because the longer you stay, the more ads they can shove your way. And ads mean money, my friends. That's the secret sauce behind free platforms like YouTube ads galore. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, they're all cut from the same cloth. Lure folks in, keep them watching and chaching. The platform's pockets get heavier. That's the name of the game, plain and simple. Three, engagement. It's all about interaction, folks. How many people like, comment, share, or subscribe to your videos? While not as crucial as watch time, engagement still packs a punch. You want your audience to like, subscribe, and drop comments like confetti. Why? Because it tells the algorithm, hey, people dig this content, show it to more folks. When your video racks up likes, shares, comments, and subscribers, the algorithm takes notice and spreads your content like wildfire. So here's the deal, focus on these three golden metrics, high CTR, epic watch time, and max engagement. If you ace them, your video's got a 99% chance of going viral. So keep that CTR up, hold them with watch time, and get them engaging like there's no tomorrow. That's your recipe for YouTube success right there. All right, let's talk about setting up your YouTube channel. It's a piece of cake, I promise. So once you've got your YouTube account signed up, I won't bore you with the details there. Head on over to youtube.com and log in. Now here's where the fun begins. First things first, you gotta make your channel look snazzy. Get yourself a logo or profile picture, sort out that channel art, and give your about section some TLC. To tackle the about section, click on customize channel. It'll whisk you away to a place where you can tweak your about section. Now this is where the YouTube magic happens. You've gotta describe your channel, and this is crucial. Stuff it with keywords related to your videos. Take a peek at my bio, for instance. You'll find keywords like Pictory, AI Tools, and Eleven Labs. They're all about what my channel's cooking up. So, load up your About section with keywords that sing your channel's tune. This tells the algorithm what you're all about and who to show your content to. Now, don't get all keyword crazy and throw random words like dropshipping, finance, crypto, and Elon Musk in there. Nah, that's not the game. Blend them into sentences so it sounds natural. Once you've jazzed up your about section, it's time to spruce up your channel's looks with a logo and channel art. Personally, I simply don't have the talent to make channel art. I buy all the thumbnails, logos, and banners you see from freelancers on Fiverr and Upwork. Mostly Upwork though, because Fiverr can be cringe. All right, folks, let's circle back to what we touched on earlier. When you're getting into faceless YouTube automation, there's like a five-step dance to it. First up, you've got to brainstorm and lock down that golden idea and title. Next, draft up a killer script, add your voice magic to it, spruce it up with some video editing, and finish off with that eye-catching thumbnail before hitting publish. So let's break this down step by step, and I'll guide you through doing it all on a budget or even free. Or if you're not into the DIY vibe, there's always the option of outsourcing some of these steps. Now thinking of content, consider what'll strike a chord with your audience, given your niche. Remember, your unique flair and experiences, that's pure gold. Whether you're thinking tutorials, vlogs, reviews, or anything else under the sun, consistency with your channel theme and genuine value for your viewers is key. Planning your video is like laying the foundation of a house. Once you've got the outline, the script is your building block. And hey, if you're staring at a blank screen, no worries. Chat GPT's got your back. Just tell it your niche, how long you want your video, and bam, you've got a script ready to roll. Let's make some video magic. Let's get into the nitty gritty of crafting that script. Once ChatGPT churns out your draft, all you gotta do is pop open Google Docs. Navigate over to docs.google.com comma, open up a fresh doc and slap that content right in. With the gold mine of info you've gathered from Google and ChatGPT, you're all set to shape your script. But hey, if you're thinking, I ain't got time for that, or if ChatGPT isn't your jam, here's a life hack for you, Upwork. It's this great freelancing platform where talented peeps are itching to write your YouTube script. Punch in YouTube script in the search bar 
and bam, you've got a slew of pros ready to help out. Just lay out your vision and they'll whip up a slick script with all the research done. Now taking it a level up, if you're aiming to be the big boss of this operation and not get too hands on, that's totally cool. Think of it as being the mastermind, steering the ship, plotting the course, and letting the crew handle the heavy lifting, be it scripting, voiceovers, or video editing. Sure, getting some hired help from the get-go is sweet, but if the budget's tight, remember, diving in without a dime is totally doable. Go get them, folks. All right, team, let's talk about the next component on our checklist, the voiceover, you know, the person giving life to that awesome script of yours. If you're rocking that DIY spirit and want to keep it budget friendly, let me introduce you to Audacity. It's a gem I've been vibing with for ages. There are heaps of voice recording apps out there, but Audacity has been my go-to. And guess what? It's 100% free. Head over to audacityteam.org, give it a download, and you're set. Whether you're chatting into your laptop mic or using your phone, it's all gravy. That's your no-cost kickoff right there. Now fast forward a bit. Once you're ready to level up, think about bringing in the pros. Platforms like Upwork or even Fiverr are bursting with stellar voiceover artists who won't break the bank. These folks live and breathe this stuff. We're talking studio quality recordings and a knack for nailing the perfect tone. Plus, if you hit the jackpot and snag a dynamite freelancer, they might whip up a crisp voiceover for you in mere hours. Now what if you don't want to use your own voice to record your voiceover but you also can't afford a professional voiceover from a freelance site? You can use high-end AI voice software like Eleven Labs to do the job. I've been monetizing YouTube videos through the YouTube Partner Program using AI voice software for years, and Eleven Labs is the best AI voice software on the market today. Now you can't get past the YouTube Partner Program's human review process with a free text to speech voice. They sound like garbage anyway, and people won't watch your videos as long, making it harder to reach your 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I've used Eleven Labs to clone my own voice, but you can use it to clone your voice, use a stock voice, or make a completely original voice depending on the plan you purchase. You can try Eleven Labs for free using my link in the description. So you've got this epic content, but you're thinking, how do I turn this into a top-notch video? Well, here's the inside scoop on hiring a video editor from freelance sites. Step one, scouting the talent. Hop onto platforms like Upwork or Fiverr. These are like the eBay for talents. Key in video editor and bam, a world of pros at your fingertips. Step two, check the cred. Study their profiles. Check reviews, past projects, and maybe even a quick chat. You want someone who vibes with your style. Step three, paint the picture. Once you've got your editor, be clear about your vision. Remember, they're not mind readers. Share your script, your tone, maybe even some sample videos you love. Now what does this video wizard do? One, storyboarding. They'll lay out your content in a visual sequence, ensuring the flow's smooth. Two, graphics and animation. For a faceless video, this is gold. They'll animate or find relevant graphics that align with your content, making it lively. Three, sound design. From voiceovers to background music, they'll ensure the sound game is on point. Four, editing and transitions. They'll slice, dice, and spice, making sure each frame transitions smoothly. Voila, your raw content's now a polished gem ready to shine on YouTube. Remember, with the right editor, even faceless videos can have a big personality. While outsourcing video content creation to freelancers is a great way to make lots of content quickly, it doesn't come cheap. Freelancers can cost a pretty penny, up to a few hundred dollars per video. I don't recommend beginners start out hiring freelancers until you're making enough money from YouTube to cover the costs. And here's where Pictory enters the scene to make your life a breeze. Pictory is like that super easy to use magic wand for crafting videos. Jump into the action by setting up a free account on Pictory. Once you're in, head straight to the script to video option. Just throw your script in there, copy paste it or type it out. And hey, don't forget to give your video that catchy title. If you've got certain words or phrases that need some extra zing, give them a little highlight. Need some guidance? There's a link within the video description that'll steer you towards Pictory. Trust me, it's a game changer. Now once you've set the stage, let Pictory take the wheel. A couple of clicks, pick a template, set your aspect ratio, and you're laying the foundation for your video marvel. This is where Pictory's AI shines, swiftly merging your words and vision into a slick storyboard. It's like watching magic unfold. Graphics pop up, matching each beat of your story, while captions dance on screen, amplifying the mood. And the cherry on top? Spice up your creation with the perfect background tune, or dive into a sea of graphics to give it that extra oomph. Did you know you can lend your own voice to your videos? Yep. 
With Pictory, you can totally add your personal touch with your own voiceover. Remember where I told you to use Eleven Labs to make your voiceover? Here's where that comes into play. It'll auto-sync a voiceover to your script, matching it perfectly with the scenes. Cool, right? And oh, this tool's a champ at transcribing and captioning. So not only does your video look good, but it's also super accessible to everyone. Talk about being inclusive. Whether you want a gripping narration or a sprinkle of your brand's unique flair, the world is your oyster. Pictory's packed with a bunch of editing tools that can make your content pop, regardless of whether you're a video-making newbie or a seasoned pro. Lastly, once you've got that video looking all snazzy and feeling just right, go ahead and download it. It's ready for its YouTube debut. Again, you can try Pictory for free using my link in the description, but you should really consider getting a subscription if you're serious about making money on YouTube. Use the code DEBTBUSTERS to get 30% off your subscription. Before we wrap things up, there's one last crucial step I want to highlight. The mighty thumbnail. Believe it or not, these little images can be game changers. They're like the front cover of a book, pulling people in. A killer thumbnail can seriously boost your clicks and views, so never underestimate their power. Even though they're last on our checklist, trust me, they're by no means the least important. So give it the attention it deserves and watch those views roll in. All right, friends, let's get into the magic recipe for YouTube success. So you're asking, how do I rack up those views and really make an impact on YouTube? Well, I've got three golden nuggets of wisdom for you. One, consistency is key. Think of this as your YouTube mantra. In the early days, push out as many videos as you can. Why? Well, it gives you a feel of what resonates with your audience. Plus, if you're crafting the content yourself, each video is a chance to hone your skills. Maybe you're new to video editing, or maybe voiceovers aren't your forte. The more content you churn out initially, the better you'll get. Not to mention, you're giving YouTube's algorithm a little nudge, showing you're in it for the long haul. Two, three metrics to live by. Remember the big three we chatted about earlier? CTR, click-through rate. This is all about getting folks to click on your video. Watch time. Keep your viewers glued. The longer they stick around, the better. Engagement. This is where you rally the troops. Ask for likes, comments, subscriptions, and shares. Get your viewers involved. Make them a part of your YouTube journey. Three, spot the trends. Look, you don't need to break new ground with every video. Instead, keep an eye on what's hot in your niche. If something's clicking with the audience, use it as inspiration. Put your unique twist on trending topics and watch those views roll in. Four, elevate and automate. Once you're a YouTube pro, it's time to think bigger. The dream, work less but earn more. And that's where automation systems come in. Think of it like setting your YouTube business on cruise control. To truly achieve this, build a stellar team around you. And hey, tools like Clockify or Trello can help manage this crew effortlessly. Five, dive deeper with me. Want to learn the secret to boosting subscribers and monetizing your channel? Yep, I've got all those answers and more in my in-depth course, Cash Cow Channel Builder. Ready to master YouTube automation? I've got a detailed course where I walk you through every step. No fluff, just straight up practical guidance on setting up a seamless YouTube operation. So if you're keen on learning, I've got your back. Enroll in Cash Cow Channel Builder and let's get the ball rolling. Interested? Check out the link in the description below. Hey there champs! For those of you who've hung out with me till the very end of this video, I've got a little treat for you. If you're thinking about snagging the Cash Cow Channel Builder, here's a hot tip. Punch in earliest bird 25 you get checkout. Why? Well, you'll score a cool 25% off, but hustle. It's only for the first 25 of you who click that link in the description. It's a sweet deal if you're aiming to skyrocket your YouTube game. More views, subscribers, and hey, even monetizing that channel you've been working on forever. All right, give yourself a pat on the back for sticking around till the end of our session today. I genuinely hope you've picked up a few golden nuggets here. Show some love with a thumbs up if you found this useful. And hey, if this YouTube biz and AI software chat tickles your fancy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping knowledge bombs regularly. And guess what? It won't cost you a dime. Thanks for the company, Faceless Family. Until our next digital hangout, take care.